Hi Libra, how are you? I'm Deanna, Intuitive D1111 here. I hope that you all are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're new here, welcome. Oh my God, we got cards flying already. So, this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node in both Western and Sidereal Astrology because I practice both. Let's go ahead and see what do the Libras watching this video need to know. And if you want a personal reading, um, I have 25% off, which is the lowest that I ever offer. I haven't offered this since I opened my Etsy shop. Um, that is going to be um, in the link description box below. There's a link for that. Okay, so we're starting off with the Queen of Wands. Woo! So, Libra. This is spicy energy for you. So you are very attractive right now. You're very charming, um, very confident, very spiritual. Okay, what is this energy coming in for Libra? Now, this is either you or someone that you're dealing with. Um, you could definitely be dealing with, um, you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag as well too. What do the Librans watching this video need to know? We have judgment, okay? So someone wants a second chance with you. Um, either that or you're making a decision about this connection once and for all. Yeah, the moon here. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot that's hidden. I feel like there's deep love here with the moon card. That's typically my, when someone's in their feelings card, <laughs> when they're deep in their emotions. So I feel like someone is secretly... Deep in their emotions for you, Libra, and I feel like they're not showing it with the moon card. Yeah, Father of Cups. I actually feel like this energy is you guys. Um, because I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. Um, and I feel like this person has love for you, but I feel like their way of showing... Their, I feel like they have a different love language is what I'm trying to say. Um now, the King of Cups can very well take the energy as it resonates, but it could be someone that has love that doesn't show it. So I feel like that's what you're experiencing with your person right now. All right. So over here we have the Five of Swords. So, yes, the Five of Swords talks about um, being in a lose-lose situation, right? You know, someone doing doing things to sabotage a connection. And I feel this is something that um, this is manipulation, right? Emotional manipulation as well. So I feel like that's something that you've encountered with your person, Libra. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing that they just weren't ready for the type of love that you were offering. And, um, for some of you, they felt like they weren't really deserving of love. So literally the connections that they get in that where the people actually love them, they repel that person. And then they accept in someone that, does not love them, that maybe wants to use them or, um, you know, that just wants them for physical, you know, low, lower vibrational things. Yeah. We have the lovers. We have a soul connection here. Um, someone wants, someone is dreaming about reviving this situation with you, but it's like, they're not telling you about it. They're keeping it a secret. Um, I feel like they're afraid of what could happen if they open this I'm here like Pandora's box again. It's kind of what I'm hearing. Um, someone also could have a choice in love. And right now they're worried about, um, you know, doing the right thing. Okay. Why is the father at cups here? What's going on for Libras in love? What do they need to know? What do the Libras in love need to know? Ace of swords. Yeah. Someone wants to speak their truth to you. Um, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, Gemini. I saw Cancer, Pisces energy as well, but I feel like someone wants to, someone wants to be, have open, honest communication with you. And I feel like it's overdue and I feel like they've been keeping it to themselves, right? Um, I feel like there's a transformation that needs to be had within this connection, but I feel like this person is there's something that they're holding on to from the past that they need to release. So whether it's past hurts from other relationships or if it's just, you know, their own toxic views on relationships, whatever it is, it needs to be released. Can we clarify the Mother of Wands and the Five of Swords, please? What's this about for the Librans watching this video? Yeah, the Two of Wands. 
with the six of pentacles i feel like someone has a choice right and with the six of pentacles being here it's like they were giving to too many different situations i feel this is somebody that you know has a lot of responsibility or has a lot on their plate um for some of you they could have like a past situation with another lover where maybe they have children they have to you know pay to support the children or they have to pay for another household or maybe they're in a situation where you know, they're planning their next move and they really want to give something to you, but here they're trying to give you, it, it, it's like you're dealing with someone that's more 3D based. So this is someone that might just, you know, give you a gift as opposed to telling you that they love you. You know what I mean? This is not someone that's going to be, you know, all in their feelings when they come towards you is what I'm saying. Um, this could be someone that's also more logical when, when it comes to matters of the heart. Can we clarify the judgment and the lovers for the Librans watching this video here? Yeah, Seven of Swords in, in reverse. I feel like this person, um, they want to come out of deception. I feel like, you know, there was some type of avoidance within this connection in the past. But it's like now it's like they want to grow with this Empress card here. You know, for others of you, if you're planning on taking a, a new step in your business, it's going to grow, right? If you're planning on taking a different direction or trying something new, just stick with it. It's going to grow with this Empress card being here. Um, for others of you, this person could have had, like I said, either a mother figure that was interfering, like a child's mom or their own mother. They had some type of feminine influence that was... Um, hindering this connection and I feel like they're realizing that with the seven of swords in reverse for others of you I'm sorry but I'm also hearing that you know they could have gotten someone else pregnant you found out about it and um you decided you didn't want to mess with them anymore so <laughs> I just you know I have to lay out all the stories that I get just take what resonates um so why is the father of cups ace of swords here and this that's of course not for everybody right that's just for the select few yeah ace of pentacles two aces and the king of cups this person loves you um this person wants a new solid beginning with you right could happen within the next year at the ace of pentacles or could, for some of you this person's coming to speak their peace within the next week or month it really just depends but with two aces here this is somebody that wants a second chance that wants to start new with you um some of you guys are definitely dealing with an Aries or you're dealing with um a Cancer I'm hearing some of you guys are dealing with a Venus in Cancer uh some of you guys are dealing with a moon in Pisces so I'm just gonna put that out there too so I don't know why I'm still shuffling <laughs> I guess whether we just get one more card here um what else does Libra need to know or can we get advice for Libra let's get some advice for Libra what do we have here what is these? What is these? We got the six of wands here, the six of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. So your advice is to continue to... Your advice is not to live in the past with the five of pentacles, to step out of any type of... Um, of feeling of loss because you have not really lost I don't you haven't really lost this person honestly this person loves you they're still orbiting your energy um this is also letting you guys know that you're going to have an increase in finances is going from the five to the six um and for you guys to realize that you have you know victory and success and whatever it is that you put your heart into so that's the advice I'm getting for you I'm going to go ahead and get some love messages here from your person this is optional, of course, but these are 5D messages from your twin flame by Oracle Mystique, the Avatar High Priestess. So let's go ahead and see what your person wants to say to you, Libra. Now, this is a conversation, so we can go back and forth, right? Wow. I haven't seen this one in, in a while. You are the love of my life, and I see that now. Yeah, your person had a reality check. For some of you, I'm hearing they were just chasing the wrong thing. Distracted. Okay, we have, you are too selfish and toxic to be around. So for a lot of you, this is you towards this person. You're like, no, you know what? I've already seen the way that you act when you get upset. I don't, you know, I don't agree with that. Or I see the way that you treated me. I don't want to deal with that. Your person is saying, I'm tired of, or you're saying, I'm tired of you running. So I no longer chase. I give up. Yeah. A lot of you guys, the very fact that you have given up on pursuing this connection is the very thing that's drawing this person in, which is crazy. We have the karmic is teaching me how to be better for you. So 
<sighs> I'm going to leave that right there. That's, you know, for some of you, that's your situation. There was someone else involved and they felt stuck and tied to that situation, probably because of children. It says, how are you doing better without me? <laughs> Listen, I have, I didn't even know that deck, that card was in this deck. Libra, how are you doing better without them? Period. Because you're not dealing with the negativity. You're purifying your space. Oh my gosh. I can't. This person, this person sees you blowing up, Libra. This is out of control. I love these messages. They kill me. One more message for Libra. Libra, they... <laughs> They want you to know that without you, nothing makes sense and they are not okay. So send your counterpart love, send your love interest love, peace, pray for them. If you enjoyed this message, please hit the like button for me as well as subscribe so you can see when I upload and check out your other natal chart placements as well. All right. Love you guys. Bye.